Hey guys, so this is going to be a very short video. Um, I was on the way home from work and I needed to stop by Wally World to pick up something for dinner. And of course I had to just check in on the makeup section and make sure there wasn't anything new. Sometimes they have these really nice displays up and I like to kind of just sift through them. Uh, I did find two things, of course, that I thought I had to have. Okay, so these are the two lip products. The first one is one of my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick in the shade Pink Blush. And usually when I'm looking at lipsticks in Walmart, it's so difficult because I find the one that I've been looking for, or I find one that I just like in general, and it's been, like, turned so far that it squished itself into the end of the cap, and half the product is up here, or someone's already applied it, which is totally gross. Um, this one was alright. It looked like no one had touched it, so I really kind of have to take a risk when I buy products that don't um, come in sealed packaging, but I, I love the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick so much. I think they're amazing quality for the price. I always recommend them. Um, one of my favorite, favorite lipsticks. And I saw this shade, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, just nice springtime uh, pink, and so I'll go ahead and swatch it for you on my hand here. So it, it's so pretty. <laughs> I was, I had it, and it, it only cost five dollars at Walmart. I think even at the drugstores, it's maybe six dollars. Um, and I was walking around with it and walking around with it because I, I don't need any more lipsticks. Actually, I just organized my lipsticks. If I move over, um, right. <laughs> in that area behind me, I've organized all my lipsticks and I've realized that I have way too many. So I think I'm actually going to condense my collection and give some away to friends and family, but that will probably be another video. Anyways, um, so I picked this one up because I thought it was beautiful. And then uh, one of my favorite YouTube vloggers, her name is OG It's Brie, and her link will be in the box below. Um, she recommended or showed this lip gloss from Flower Beauty in one of her videos a while ago. But this is Baby's Breath, and it's a creamy, um, light pink lip gloss. And it actually, uh, it smells like flowers, which it does. It smells like you're just smelling a flower. And I don't know if I've heard that before. I probably have, but when I applied it, it was just really nice because usually lip glosses smell like um, like watermelon or cinnamon or, uh, you know, fruity scents uh, or spicy scents even. Um, but this one smelled like flowers and not in a bad way. It just, it smells really nice. And the other thing I notice is people do mention how it's kind of annoying that the tag has the name on and once you take the tag off, uh, you lose the name. So something, you probably already know this, um, but I just peel off part of it and then cut it with scissors and that way I don't lose the name. So the name is actually right here and I have it now so I, I, I don't have to take the whole sticker off. I'm not saying that you probably didn't already know that, but just in case. Um, it also says LG2 at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It's not shimmery, it's just a really nice and milky, uh, creamy, light pink. So that is Baby's Breath, and then that is Rimmel's Pink Blush. One other thing that I'm going to use, just because I'm trying it out, uh, is this Lid and Lip Primer Base, and this is by Claudio Stevens. I showed it in a haul. Um, I can link down below if you're interested. But it's a lid primer and a lip primer, and this is the lip primer, and as you can tell, it's definitely not clear. So my lips are naturally pigmented, so to help me... Um, kind of give myself more of a blank cam canvas for that light pink to work with. I'm applying this on top. Rimmel lipsticks are extremely pigmented, so if you don't have this, even though it's $5 and it is pretty cool, you don't need to get it by any means. Rimmel lipsticks will cover pigmented lips. I'm just taking an extra measure because I have it and because I'm trying it out anyways, and this would be a good chance for you to kind of see how it works. So. Um, I'm just going to use the lip base and I'm going to go ahead and I just apply it on the bottom and then press my lips together and then pat it in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So just on the, <laughs> on the, oh goodness, on the bottom here and I'm pressing them together and then I kind of just smooth and pat. So 
So if you wanted to really um, create a blank canvas, you could definitely put more of this on, but it just kind of mutes some of the pigmentation. So that's kind of nice. I, I have really enjoyed this in case you are <laughs> interested. And then next I'm going to take the Pink Blush by Rimmel. And I, I don't know if it's just me, but I like to pat my lipsticks in. Um, I don't know, I just, I pat everything in there. Okay, so this is what pink blush looks like all on its own, and I think it's a really, really pretty color. Um, it is super pigmented, so you don't need a base, once again. I can't emphasize that enough. Amazing quality lipsticks by Rimmel. Um, but this is what it looks like all by itself, and I'm going to add the, the gloss on top now, and that is going to change the look of it because the gloss is just a bit lighter. So I'll go ahead and apply that for you. Okay, so up close, this is what the finished result looks like. I think it's really pretty. I'm hoping that the lighting is going to show how amazing this lip combo is for the springtime. It's, it's a beautiful pink color. It's a light baby pink. It's nice and creamy and smooth. And the quality of the lip gloss and the lipstick is amazing. You really can't go wrong. Uh, it only cost me $12. The lip gloss from Flower Beauty was, I think, six or seven, and the lipstick by Rimmel was only five. And like I mentioned before, you don't need the lip primer. Uh, the Rimmel lipstick is extremely pigmented as is, so you don't need it. I just wanted to show some of my viewers who watched my uh, collective makeup haul uh, what it's like. So um, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was still short. It should be short. I don't think I rambled too much. Uh, and yeah.